Hello YouTube subscribers and viewers. I am uh, got my very first ultrasonic cleaner today. I've never had one before and I've never used it before. And you're going to see how well it works or doesn't work along with me. What I've got in here is one cup of white vinegar, two drops of uh, dish soap, any, any, any brand will do, and I've put in one teaspoon of salt. It can be coarse salt or table salt, whatever type of salt you like. And lastly, it will also have one cup of hot water. Now this mixture is going to go into my brand new ultrasonic cleaning machine and what I'm going to try to do is clean my collection of 1943 bullets that I've uh, metal detected out of the ground in Canada. And I'm going to keep one out for a before and after and um, see how, how clean this ultrasonic gets them in my little mixture. Now I'm going to put my uh, mixed solution into the machine. Okay, I'm going to put these 11 shell casings into my little basket here. I'm going to leave this one out so we can compare the difference. And now my basket's going into the machine. Now I have the uh, brass shell casings in the solution in the ultrasonic cleaner which comes with five uh, different time settings and uh, we'll periodically check, check on this every seven and a half minutes and see how, how it's coming along. All right, it has been seven and a half minutes, and look how dirty that water is. Wow, you can see all the grime at the bottom of the basket, and look at the difference in the bullets. Here's the one we kept aside. So that's the first seven and a half. I'm going to let it go for another seven and a half. And we'll have a look back in 15 minutes. Okay, now it's been 15 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, and the water's way dirtier than it was after seven and a half minutes. Look at that. Okay, this time it has been 22 and a half minutes. That water sure is dirty. Well, these bullets are looking a lot like copper right now. Now this has been the full 30 minutes and that'll be the end of this cleaning program. We'll see what we have. Some very dirty water. I will be taking this over to the sink. It's very important to rinse all this solution thoroughly off of um, anything that you're cleaning, otherwise it can continue to keep eating it. So uh, we'll take this to the sink, we'll give it a good rinse and see what we have. As we saw, the patina wore off of these shell casings within the first couple of minutes. Around the firing pin, you can see that the brass brassiness is really just starting to come out now. Even though the inside is all clean. Well, the water was completely filthy, and after I dumped it out, look at all the crud in there. Well here is the final result. On the far left we have what the, the bullets looked like originally when I dug them out of the ground and hand washed them in warm soapy water only. 
Then on the far right, this is how they came out of the ultrasonic cleaning only. And then I gave them a bit of a hand polish. And look at the difference. They're shiny once again. You can clearly uh, read the date underneath that says 1943 on all 12 of these and who the manufacturer was. All I can tell you is that uh, these shell casings never looked better. I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, my shell casings are both 1944. I'll uh, show you what they looked like when I dug them out of the ground and just washed them with warm soapy water. Then in the ultrasonic machine, the only thing I'm going to put in here is two cups of warm water. That's the maximum amount this little one holds. And only two drops of dish soap. That's about right. Here are my two 1944 shell casings. I'll put one in the machine. And I'm going to leave one out so we can have a before and after. Here's 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, the water still looks pretty clean. Uh, last time when we used the vinegar, there was uh, 11 bullets in there. This is only one, mind you. But now this is our 15-minute check. The water's still fairly clean. And I'm saying this pretty much still looks the same. Starting to think that the uh, vinegar and salt played an important part in this cleaning process. Let's go for the full 30 minutes. Here we go, 22 and a half minutes. Mm, I can see uh, some rust particles off in the water. And it, it feels like I could scrub some of this off. I, I think it's softening it, but there certainly was a difference when you used the vinegar and salt recipe that I previously gave you. So I'm going to run this again for the last seven and a half minutes. We'll see 30 minutes later how close it looks to our last test try. Well, this is it for the warm water and dish soap only test. It's been 30 minutes. As you can see, there are particles in the basket. It's slightly cleaner, but I do believe that the uh, salt and vinegar had had a way greater effect on it. I remove the basket. I can see um, rust particles in it, and obviously there was some cleaning going on because there's all the junk at the bottom. Well, here's the before and after of the uh, water and dish soap only test. Definitely the uh, vinegar solution and the bit of salt made made a difference. The end. Thank you for watching.